Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I'll be showing you guys a quick and easy candy yams recipe. So, so ooey gooey delicious. Hopefully you stay tuned to see it before I begin. If you like today's recipe, please don't forget to thumbs it up and let's get started. All right guys, to begin, here are the ingredients. I'm using clove, condensed milk. Yes, you heard me. I'm using butter, unsalted by the way. Also, I am using minced ginger, salt, vanilla extract, orange zest, cinnamon powder, nutmeg. All right, you also need brown sugar, white sugar, and of course, you need your sweet potatoes. I went ahead and peeled them off and cut them just like so. Of course, you can cut them however shape you like. Now to begin to a saucepan, I am going to place my butter. I'm using two sticks of unsalted butter. Once that is about close to melted, I am going to pour in the brown sugar as well as the white sugar. Next, I am going to add the orange zest. This right here is one of the key ingredients you will need. You will definitely taste the difference, especially the ginger, okay? You will taste the difference between the one without ginger and the one with ginger. Now I'm going to add the cinnamon powder, nutmeg, salt, and give that a stir. Now I'm cooking this on medium high heat, by the way, so I'm going to let it simmer. Now I am going in with the vanilla extract. Give that another stir. All right, it's looking beautiful. Next, I am going to grab the condensed milk. Now, this ingredient is another ingredient that I really, really like to use, but it will change the texture of your syrup, okay? Once your sugar is melted, the texture will be different compared to without using the condensed milk, but I do like the flavor of it. So once everything looks well mixed together, just like so, I am going to remove it from the heat. Now I'm going to grab my baking dish, place the yams in there, and I'm going to pour that syrup, whatever you call it, we're going to pour that on top of the yams. Now, I do like to bake my candy yams because I don't have to worry about it. If I make it on a stove top, I'm gonna have to sit there and babysit it. It's best for me to just bake it. That's why I always bake candy yams. Of course, you can make this on a stove top if you like. So once I'm done pouring the syrup on there, next I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon powder on there and bake this on 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes until the yams are nice and soft and ooey gooey, literally falling off the fork. Thank you so much for watching today's recipe. I hope you guys try this one out. And also don't forget to leave me a comment down below. How do you make your candy hands? And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys on the next recipe. Happy Thanksgiving.